receiver screens on the outside? Um, honestly, we're going to see. Um, I guess we'll see week one. Thanks. Coach Lovey Smith said earlier today that he expects year three of this program overhaul that we're going to see some results. What do you think about him setting the bar at that? Uh, that's awesome. You know, um, I think definitely um, I'm the most confident going into a season this year than I have been in any of my, you know, Illinois seasons. Uh, this past, after we lost to Northwestern last year, um, I knew my senior year was coming up, so all of us, you know, we got together. We had a team meeting. We talked and said, you know, we're, we're done with this losing. Like, it can't keep going on. So we, uh, you know, our culture of our team wasn't very good. So changed that up as much as we could. Um, we had a lot of people stepping up, um, a lot more leaders on the team this, this time of year. Um, so, you know, I'm really, really excited. You know, this, this how, how have you changed your future? Um, just... You know, guys, uh, it used to be in the past where it was really like buddy-buddy um, as far as I'm best friends with this kid off the field, so if he's jogging through a rep, like a sprint, I'm not going to say anything to him. Now it's, you know, if his best friend is messing up, he's going to get on him. You know, it's not attacking the person, it's attacking the problem. And I think that's something we, you know, really realized this year or this whole off season was that. Um, and last year, I mean, we had so many freshmen that, you know, they're going to make a bunch of mistakes and whatnot. So the, a lot of those guys are, you know, a year older now, and you know, I'm excited to see what they can do. And you kind of touched on the culture, but what also makes you more confident heading into the season? Than uh, season? Just guys getting older, guys maturing, um, leadership. Um, you know, you have a whole handful of guys who had great off seasons. Um, I think they're going to step up big time for us. So, yeah, just guys getting older, maturing, um, getting more used to how the game goes. So going back to the culture, you just feel like there's more accountability on, on this roster than the previous years? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, the previous years, you know, I felt like coaches or strength staffs led the team. Now I feel like it's definitely a player, you know, driven team. Um, locker room's awesome, you know, guys getting along and whatnot. But you know, when we're out on the field, it's it's a standard. And if you don't live up to that standard, you know, you're out. A like year, come back tomorrow, um, and that's something you know we needed. We needed a full revamp because you know we were doing last year, the year before it wasn't working. So you know we're going to try to make it work this year. Mike, two, three head coaches, bunch of position coaches. You and Nick both for the team you guys have been How do you manage to stay focused through all of the, the stuff that's been going on around you? Um, you know, it's been it's been really hard, honestly. Um, four offensive coordinators, three different offenses, three head coaches. Um, I mean, that in itself is nothing no nobody wants that for their college career. Um, but you know, honestly, just the, the teammates around me. Um, they've helped me, you know, I've helped them just sticking together, let, letting everybody know, you know, it doesn't matter who our coach is, like we're doing this for each other, um, we got each other's backs through it all, um, so really just the teammates around us, you know, we all stuck together. What was your morale like just during that time, coaches coming in and out, injury issues? I mean, it was tough, you know, it was tough to stay positive, um, losing games and all that, but, you know, it, it helped me as a man off the field. Um, this is what I'm very thankful for, just dealing with adversity and pushing through it, um, seeing the, the greater things in life. What's your, what's your recruiting pitch to Chicago area athletes looking at playing at the University of I mean, now, geez, the, the new facility we're getting is going to be, I believe, top in the country. Um, so that, that speaks for itself as far as the trust that our athletic director has in Coach Smith. Um, and then just, you know, it seems like this whole Liddyville thing's taking off. Um, the recruiting class is picking up. Uh, they got a lot of good players, a couple five stars, a couple four stars. So um, it's an exciting time to, to be in Illini, you know, and playing for your home state. I'm a home state kid, so, you know, there's nothing greater than, you know, wearing the orange and blue. Mike, I know you've been asked this already. With the, this, describe this new offense under Rod Smith and how, how you kind of fit in the scheme. It's awesome you know it's, it's fast paced electric um, high tempo um, a lot of need to work on my conditioning uh, it's a lot of running around um, trying to create different mismatches and whatnot but you know I'm, I'm really excited for it we needed a change on the offensive side of the ball and you know coach coach Rod Smith was the answer to that why do you think that this year can be different for Illinois football for several down seasons 
Um, I just think, you know, the whole culture of our team, the whole morale of our team has changed ever since we lost last year. Um, Coach Smith, you know, he challenged us, holding each other to a higher standard, making it a team-driven team, or a player-driven team, not not so much a coach-driven team. And, you know, I think we uh, we did that this offseason. You know, myself, Nick Jamal, a bunch of other older leaders on the team um, really set a standard and made sure that everybody, you know, lived up to that standard or, you know, it's time to move on.